Okay guys, I want to do a quick video real quick and show you. I was having a problem. Um, my Minecraft server, I had to, basically, I couldn't connect to it anymore. I was getting an error message. Um, it was this one right here. I'll blow it up big so you can see. It's basically the, and there's a lot of references to this on the web. It's the failed to connect to server, Java net, connection exception, connection timed out, no further information. And I was like, God, what's going on? It's very aggravating. And then uh, I just realized something simple. I had rebooted my router um, because my internet connection just went down for a little while and it wasn't coming back up. So I had to like really reboot it, do a battery pull because it's uh, one of those ones that has a, um, I think it has um, telephony built in. But anyway, so uh, rebooted the router completely. And when uh, I forgot that my Minecraft server was on dynamic IP addressing, um, it's not a problem because it stays on all the time, but uh, in this case, um, what happened was when I tried to connect to this, I kept getting that error, and what I realized is that uh, it was still pointing to the old IP address, which was .108, and this one, all I had to do was create a new one, which is 192.168.0.109, which is the new dynamic IP address that was given. Uh, to my Minecraft server uh, when I rebooted my router. So you can see, ta-da, it's going to work. And so I will go ahead and connect and I'll show you guys the good thing. And you can see I'm up and running. So anyways, if you get that same error, it could be something simple like that. Check that setting and make sure, uh, or just re-add your, uh, your Minecraft server inside of your GUI. Okay. Any questions or concerns, let me know. Thanks. Have a good day. Uh, by the way, please, if you like my videos, like and subscribe. Have a good day.